Have you heard about TikTok's new penal code? Anytime I post any content about Palestine, I get not eligible for the FYP and it stops the views on the video. And this is not just with me, it's happening to everyone on TikTok that posts about Palestine. The whole idea of TikTok is that as a content creator, you come on here because it's meant to be a democratic social media app where you create original content and you get rewarded for your original content. But what's happening now is that we are getting penalized for original content. It's saying that we are violating originality guidelines. What is not original about me coming on here and talking? I've never shown any graphic images, I never show blood, I never show anything in my videos, it's always my pure thoughts and opinions. TikTok's new punishment is discouraging so many of us from making content on the app because we're putting so much time and effort and energy and then it just stops the growth because it deems it as not eligible for the FYP. TikTok is the app where I prefer to make content, it's the app where I've been able to build a community over the past few years and I want to continue doing that but TikTok is literally taking away my voice and the voices of so many creators creators that are making original content. So what's the idea here? Because even from a profitability perspective for TikTok, TikTok is profiting from creators like me coming on this app, making content and keeping people and users engaged. So how does it make sense to just cut an entire segment of TikTok's users and the content creators that make this type of content, just muffle them entirely so that they stop making content? How is that even profitable for TikTok? How does that make sense for you, TikTok, as an app? Can someone please write ideas down in the comment section for what we can do to tackle this because it is getting unbelievably difficult to post anything. Anything I post gets flagged as ineligible due to originality. Um, actually, this is the same woman that told Iranian women to shut up you know, with their Islamophobia and keep it to themselves, which is unbelievable. Now that she's now that for, now that her voice is not getting as much of a boost, she's complaining about that. By the way, imagine the audacity saying that TikTok is taking away my voice. TikTok has been giving you a voice. Uh, if they don't boost it as much as before, I mean, this has nothing like this has. Unfortunately for you, they can't do that. I don't know, do you guys complain when people who are supporting Israel get the same level of suppression and demonetization and deprioritization? I mean, that happens to us all the time. I don't see you guys complaining when that happens. So what is the double standard? Are you, I, I don't know. These platforms, here's the thing. I understand that this is how the game is played. You know, if YouTube is, for example, deprioritizing us, okay, what can I do? Like, that's, it's their company. This has nothing to do with democracy. YouTube is not a country. YouTube doesn't owe me anything. I could just tell you guys that YouTube is doing this, and we could do what we can do. You guys could like the stream so we could undo some. We understand how the algorithm works. If we say controversial stuff, well, YouTube prefers that we post cat videos instead. I mean, it makes sense um, why they want, why they might not like that. So, but we can do what we can do. We can say like, hey guys, YouTube is like this. Help us out, like the stream, so that maybe we could undo some of that. But why are, what are you, I also, here's the thing. I understand that YouTube is deprioritizing our videos, but I also understand that if it wasn't for YouTube, I wouldn't have any voice, <laughs> man. Like, I don't. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't be able to reach out to you guys. So I'm actually grateful, even with all the, you know, demonetization and deprioritization and the suppression that we're getting from YouTube. Our videos is getting. Well, what is the alternative? Like, oh, YouTube evil. I wouldn't have a voice if it wasn't for YouTube. I wouldn't imagine the insane insanity if I came here and told you guys that YouTube is taking away my voice what voice would i have without youtube youtube is giving me a voice so imagine the people on tiktok on complaint you can't you guys your view has been amplified by a thousand because of tiktok anti-israeli views on instagram and tiktok is through the roof like you guys wouldn't tiktok is partly responsible for this 
spread for such a spread of anti-Israeli take, and you come and complain that your voice is being suppressed, the TikTok is heavily one-sided in favor of you guys. You might get, I don't know, demonetized or deprioritized. If we lean in too heavily in supporting Israel, our videos, like we, we could lose our accounts on TikTok. TikTok is very sensitive. So I don't know what you're talking about. I have a message to the Iranian girls that are still running their mouths on social media and spreading propaganda in support of Israel. And it's a very dangerous and harmful and Islamophobic propaganda. This propaganda is so dangerous because it has nothing to do with what is going on in Gaza and what has been happening in Palestine for so many years. First of all, Gaza is not Iran. I don't care what you say, but you cannot come on here as an Iranian girly living in freaking California about the people of Gaza and using us as a tool and painting us as being oppressed by Hamas just so that you can spread your Islamophobic beliefs on here. Palestinians are oppressed by Israelis. This is our oppressor. Israel is our oppressor. In Gaza, no one is forced to cover their hair. We are not forced to wear a hijab. It's not freaking Iran. And you guys know that. You guys who are spreading this propaganda know that. You are seeing all our journalists working with their colleagues who are men without their husbands, without their fathers, without their pro brothers, without anyone. They're going at night reporting for the whole world with other men who are their colleagues. And you're still coming on here and telling us that we are oppressed by Hamas? First of all, the Palestinian resistance is not ISIS, it's not the freaking Taliban, and it's definitely not the freaking Iranian government. So stop running your mouth and you know who you are. There's a few girls on here that are of Iranian descent who are spreading propaganda in support of Israel and you need to take a hundred steps back. You either listen to Palestinians and amplify our voices and uplift us and support us, or you keep your, your mouth shut, or you keep your mouth shut. Or you keep your mouth shut. Imagine telling Iranian women to shut up, um, especially Iranian women who have, the, you know, the Islamic Republic of Iran with their army and their morality police and all their threats and all their executions and all their torture and all their imprisonment and all their rape. And, it, and I'm not making this up. They take these women, they arrest them, and they punish them by raping them in prison. There's a lot of reports on that. There's a lot of really good investigative journalism that confirms all of this. With all of that pressure, the Islamic Republic of Iran has not been able to make Iranian women shut up about their complaints against Islamic, the Islamic Republic of Iran and Islam. All right. And imagine Islam, the Iranian women having to deal with that level of suppression. And you telling them to shut up, okay? You, you <laughs> having the audacity to tell those women shut up, an army, a nation's army hasn't been able to make them shut up, and you think that you have the power to tell them to make them quiet, right? Imagine, imagine putting yourself in that position, and imagine the the level of suppression Iranian women face, and you come here and complain about TikTok not amplifying your voice as much as before. Even though TikTok has been the platform where you have been spreading your venom, when you have been spreading your poison all over the internet, that's the, that's the platform that has been amplifying your voice. You come here and complain about not, it, it not being as much as before. Imagine if this woman had to deal with the actual suppression, with the level of suppression that Iranian women have to deal with. When you get raped, simply for asking for your rights we, in a country where you get hanged for being Islamophobic. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The, the woman who asks other women to shut up because she doesn't like their views, what other woman to shut up? is now saying that my voice is not being amplified enough. The, the irony and the hypocrisy here is through the roof. It's unbelievable.